In this video, I'm going to show you how to map network drive on your Mac computer. So first thing we need to do, we need to click on go and then we need to click on connect to server. And then here in this pop up box, we need to type path to our location to our network drive, the one that we're trying to connect. So it's either we need to type our server name in here or we need to type IP address. By some reason, I found out that sometimes when you type a server name, it will not connect. By some reason, it will not discover. So by typing your IP address, it will find it for sure. So right here, type your IP address or a server name and then the location of your network drive minus storage. And then in here, we need to save to our favorite servers. Just click on a plus sign. And now we need to click on connect. And at this pop-up box, live at registered user and then type your credentials, the ones that were provided by your system administrator. So it could be the main name and username. So for example, if you're working for Microsoft, you have to type Microsoft and then backslash and your username and then your password. But in my case, since I'm not connected to the domain, I'm just gonna use administrator and then type your password and then in here put a check mark next to remember this password in my keychain and then click on connect and that's it now you're connected to your network drive but there is one more thing we need to do for it to automatically connect to your drive once you log in so here's what we need to do we need to click on system preferences then click on users and groups then login items and then in here, if you see this lock is locked, you need to press on it to unlock. Type your Mac credentials and then press unlock. Okay, and in here, what we need to do, we need to click on the plus sign and then we need to choose our server and then we need to choose our network share that we would like to connect minus storage. And then in here, we just need to click add button. And also one more thing we need to do, we need to put a check mark next to hide Otherwise, Windows will be open automatically every time you log in. And that's it. And then you can close this window. Next time when you're going to log in, you're going to be able to just click on go. And then, I don't know, choose home or computer. And in here on the left hand side, you're going to be able to see your server, the one you added. And once you click on it, you'll see your storage location and it's going to be automatically connected to it. And if you think this video is helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.